Algae are important photosynthetic organisms in marine and freshwater ecosystems. Algae take on a variety of forms, from small single-celled species that swim via a flagella to huge kelp of tree-sized proportions. The single-celled algae include the dinoflagellates of the phylum Dinophyta and the diatoms of the phylum Chrysophyta. Often called phytoplankton, literally floating plants, these small photosynthetic protists are widely distributed in oceans and lakes. Although microscopic in size, their importance is immense. Phytoplankton account for nearly 50% of all the photosynthetic activity on Earth and are the primary producers in most aquatic food webs. Dino is Greek for two. Dinoflagellates are so named because of their two whip-like flagella. One flagellum encircles the cell, located within a special groove, while the second projects behind it. Some dinoflagellates are bounded only by a cell membrane, while many are covered with cellulose walls that resemble armor plates. Only about 50% of dinoflagellates are capable of photosynthesis. The rest absorb or capture nutrients from the environment or live as parasites in marine organisms. Those dinoflagellates that do carry out photosynthesis usually have a combination of chloroplasts and pigments that give them a more golden brown color than the usual bright green color of euglenoids. Although some live in fresh water, dinoflagellates are especially abundant in the ocean where they are an important food source for larger organisms. Specialized dinoflagellates known as zooxanthellae, live within the cells of certain coral species that are dependent on them to provide photosynthetic nutrients and remove carbon dioxide. The green chlorophyll in dinoflagellates is often masked by red pigments that help trap light energy. Under certain conditions, when the water is warm and rich in nutrients, a dinoflagellate population explosion occurs. These microorganisms can become so numerous that the waters are dyed red by the color of their bodies, causing a red tide. Fish die by the thousands, suffocated by clogged gills or by oxygen depletion resulting from the decay of the bodies of billions of dinoflagellates. But oysters, mussels, and clams have a feast, filtering millions from the water for food. In the process, however, they concentrate a nerve poison produced by the dinoflagellates. During red tides, people or other animals feeding on these mollusks may be stricken with potentially lethal paralytic shellfish poisoning. <laughs>